Hey Stampers, I am excited to show you these cute little treat boxes. They are the mini Curvy Keepsakes die, and if you're a Stampin' Up! fan, then you might remember that we had a bigger box like this a couple years ago. This new box is so simple. Uh, I love it. And when I first got my die out, I was like, oh wait, it's all one part? You don't have to put it together? Yes, true. You don't have to assemble anything um, with the cardstock pieces. So let me give you some quick tips here. Um, you, first of all, should know that you can cut two of these from a single sheet of cardstock. Um, this die fits here on a half sheet, so I'm going to pop this in here in my die cutter and run this through. Just be careful to make sure your die is not hanging off the edge of your um, plate at all because you don't want to um, have that go through crooked and then get a problem with uh, bending the die. All right, so then there is our box all cut and ready to go. Like I said, I love this thing. Um, super cute sizes, and if you search for um, my curvy keepsake box ideas, you'll be able to find uh, the, the Big Brother version of these that we've done before. So here is the box. Um, there is a bundled stamp set with it, Tiny Keepsakes, which includes this um, not-to-be-missed buffalo check image. And I'm going to go ahead and take that. Now I know there's a trick for um, blocking off the corners, but on dark cardstock with this um, stamp, you really don't need to worry about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and line up the bottom of my buffalo check with the bottom of the box on each side. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp all four of these to make this quick fall treat. These are a really simple project. Um, you can make a ton of them at once. They would be a great thing to share um, with friends and family and just people you see wherever. So are, aren't those sweet? Buffalo check. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. And then here is my set of tips for putting this box together. The first thing you want to do is fold the handles. You want to fold the plaid back on itself. See how that works? Then you're going to take those handles and bring them together. Okay, now this doesn't fit over the top, not to worry. What you need to do is you need to press this down. So here, if this was my table surface, see how when I press it down, it makes the sides pooch out a little bit? Then it's really easy to put the other two sides over the handles of the box. See how simple that is? Ta-da! Like that, and they just stay. And then you have the cute version with the check on it. So this version's cute too. The cute version with the buffalo check, much cuter. Okay, let me give you a trick. Um, these come together leaves from the gathered leaves dies are um, some of my very favorites. And they come as part of the gather together suite. Uh, they are super easy to create like this though. This is my super awesome tip. What you're gonna need for this is an ink pad, so Mary Merlot. You're gonna need a piece of Mary Merlot cardstock. Ta-da! And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dies and you are going to set them gently here on your ink pad. I know, right? Crazy. Now, you're really just inking the top parts of the die, so I'm just doing a little tap on each of these. You don't need to mash them down in there. And then you're going to take those and set them on your cardstock, ink side down. Okay. We're going to put those back into our die cutting machine. And let me show you how simple it is to make these come out beautifully with the um, embossed uh, inked image on them. So. I know somebody, um, a good friend of mine was saying she was coloring in the little cracks to see if she could get those to be darker. And she saw this and she's like, oh my gosh, that's so much easier. So I'm going to run these through. And then when I peel them off the other side, we have our inked die cuts. See how gorgeous those are? Such a pretty set of images. Okay. So a really simple trick with the Come Together Suite, and you are going to not want to miss my Come Together projects. Um, I have an online class that's available during the month of September, and for that, um, you're going to get 10 projects with 10 different tips. So 10 projects, each one of them has a tip of some kind that you're going to love. Um, and this is actually like a bonus project. It's not even included in 10, so don't, uh, don't miss that class. That class is free with a purchase from my online store of $50 or more in product. So um, during September, shop, get a free class, get more ideas like that for Come Together, and you will be happy. So finish our box here. I have um, a circle that I've just punched with my one and a half inch circle punch. Now also in 
this tiny keepsakes are all these cute little tags, these little stitch tags. Lots of different fun shapes. I'm going to grab this sort of teardrop shaped one here. And I'm going to stamp on it with my sweet treat image. I'm going to ink that in Mary Merlot and stamp it. And that, um, of course, comes from the same um, tiny keepsake stamp set. And then I'm going to start putting my um, tag together here. So I'm just going to layer a piece of the Come Together Designer Series paper on there. I'm going to grab um, two Stampin' Dimensionals, and put one on each side here, peel those backings off. Then I'm going to pick one of those many, many leaves, and there are three leaves in that Come Together set, so you can... Uh, Rest assured that you're not going to have to run through a billion times if you're making a project that uses a bunch of the leaves. So, so nice to have multiples of those leaves in the in the set of dies. So, okay, I'm going to string my linen thread, um, and I have doubled the linen thread just to make it a little bit more robust in the way it looks. And I'm going to tie that through my handle, and grab that and tie this and a little double bow here at the top of my basket. So really a fun fall treat. Um, be great for classroom treats, great for favors, great for shower gifts, all kinds of fun things. Even just like a, I'm thinking of you for somebody um, who needs a pick me up. So, all right, you can put um, a couple of Hershey's Kisses in these little boxes. I'm gonna trim that extra loop there at the end. A couple Hershey's Kisses, um, whatever kind of makes you happy to go with this. And there, is our fun um, sweet treat using the tiny keepsake stamp set and the coordinating mini curvy keepsakes die. So remember, um, watch for my come together uh, projects for my online crafting class. Those are available in September and I would love to share that free um, with purchase crafting class with you. So happy stamping. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more projects with you soon. Bye-bye.